Hey, welcome back, everybody. I hope you did well on this. Let's check your answers and see how you did. Uh, we did th that first one completely. You remember nine pieces of licorice dividing amongst, uh, among four people ended up being two full pieces and one fourth of that last piece each. So everybody got two full pieces and a fourth. Okay. And then with as far as Ashley and Alex painting, I think you can agree that one half of something is more than one fourth. So Ashley painted a larger fraction of her ceiling that she was painting. Okay. Uh, but you almost want to say, but, right? You almost feel like, well, that's cheating. She had a smaller area, right? Well, that's true. Right? Who painted more? Alex painted more. Even though he only did a fourth, the, the, the area of the ceiling of the library is so much bigger, right? That one fourth of the area of the ceiling of the library is much bigger than half of the uh, of the ceiling of the bathroom. So we're going to say Alex on that, and that's why you know. I mean, you think of it. What if you had to paint an entire football field, okay, versus a mat, right? You can uh, do one tenth of the football field, and it's going to be more than a hundred percent of the doormat. Okay. So yeah, uh, it, it, we're, when we're talking fraction, we're talking like anything else, you know, one half of what one fourth of what, you know, six of what, right? Six feet is much bigger than 10 inches, right? Uh, three meters is much, much bigger than 150 millimeters right or even centimeters right so that's important what you're what you're talking about that's always the units always count all right on lucia and ben as far as lucia saved uh two dollars for every one dollar um we can have ratios okay and ratio of lucia to ben is two to one Okay, but how about Lucia to the total? Yeah, you can see that's two to three. Okay, two to three, and again, you can write it like that, you can write it like that, and you can write it like this, right? Well, if the total is 150, then what's going to go here? I did three times what to get 150, 50, right? So two times 50 is 100. So the total Lucia should have saved would be a 100. And let's double check. Bin to the total. Bin to the totes is 1, 2, 3. And if that is one to three like that, and the total was 150, three times 50, one times 50, that would mean that Ben did 50. And let's just double check that. That would mean Lucia did 100 plus Ben doing 50, and that total ends up being 150, and that works. Okay. All right. So that's all about finding the rates okay, and using those ratios, applying it to more. Uh, multiplying fractions is easy. Two times two, three times seven. Here I can multiply first and then simplify. Four times three is 12. Seven times four is 28. And then simplify, recognizing that four goes into the top and bottom. But I could have done that here. I could have recognized that four goes into the top one time, the bottom one time. Remember, four times three is the same as three times four. So four sevenths times three fourths is the same as three sevenths times four fourths. What's four fourths? That's the same as one over one. So my answer should be three sevenths. Let's just double check. Four goes into 12 three times and four goes into 28 seven times. Same answer. Okay. Same idea here. What goes into the top and bottom? I have a three here, 13 uh, and a 10 here, five. Ooh. Looks like five goes into five and 10. Five goes into five one time. It goes into 10 twice. So now I go two times three is six and 13 times one. I'm done. 
Otherwise, I would have done 10 times 3 and got a 30, and then 5 times 13 got 65, and then say, wait, 5 goes into the top and bottom, and I would have had to say 5 into 65. A little bit harder. So if you can cancel before you start, go for it. Now, how come I didn't cancel here? I have a 2 here and a 2 there. You know? Has to be on top and bottom. If they're both on the top or both on the bottom, that you can't simplify. Doesn't matter. Okay? All right. So 5 over 3 and 1 over 5. Looks like 5 goes into the top and 5 goes into the bottom. Once and once. 1 times 1 on top. 3 times 1 on the bottom. 1 third. Okay? How about this one? I went over 4 on C. How far did I go up? 1 not two in between the one and two, right between one and two. That's one and a half or 1.5. D was the hard one. I went over five and not to six, halfway between five and six. So that's going to be 5.5. And then how far did I go up? All right. Remember, this is the Y axis. This is the X axis. All right. And you always go X comma Y. X comes before Y. Okay, horizontal x-axis happens first. How far did I go over? 5.5. How far did I go up? More than 4, less than 5. Not 5.5 on this one. Because we fool a lot of people on this one. 4.5 is how far you went up. Double check that one for me, okay? And E, you could do it wrong and get it right. I don't like that problem. I wish you'd never have a problem like that whenever you learn how to do graffitis or graphing or coordinate pairs, whatever you want to call this, right? Why? Because you can go up first and over second, and it doesn't matter, right? So you can be doing it wrong and getting it right. That's a dangerous problem when you learn how to do stuff, okay? But it's over eight, up eight, okay? All right, hopefully you did well on this, and hopefully you found a mistake, right? If you made a mistake and you found it, it's like finding gold. Why? Because it's valuable to find mistakes. That's where you that's where you learn. All right, have a good one everybody.